State Department has ramped up its embassy security training to try to avoid another Benghazi-type attack in which four Americans, including the ambassador, were killed. For the first time, security agents are working with the Marines. It is a nightmare scenario. Assault on a U.S. diplomatic compound. Attackers coming in waves. And security agents trying to keep them out. This is an exercise, but it was very real in Benghazi two years ago when Ambassador Chris Stevens and three other Americans were killed. And that was a hard lesson, obviously. Those are hard lessons that we've learned. Lessons still being learned here at a fake city on a Virginia military base, which the State Department asked us not to name, where it trains diplomatic security agents heading to the world's most dangerous places. Post Benghazi, there was a recognition within the department and, and the government uh, that it was important to focus particular attention on some of the highest threat posts uh, around the world. The training tends agents finished recently is now more intense and twice as long. There's a group of people heading to Gate Bravo. For the first time, this session included the Marines alongside diplomatic security. They got to see how the actual DS agents can conduct their business, as well as the DS agents see how the Marines actually add elements to them to where they don't have to do all the work. After Benghazi, the Marines created units that can quickly be sent to diplomatic posts under threat. The State Department wants its agents ready to work with them. As intelligence and threats and warnings start to develop, really go out, reach back to headquarters and request this asset. The trainees face potential real life situations. Welcome to my mosque. From escorting a diplomat to meet the local okay. mullah to an attack on a convoy. With their vehicles disabled and bullets flying, they rush the diplomat into a nearby building. But we're going to stand here as long as we have with this cover. But that right. doesn't last long. Down. With the attack continuing and no help coming, Come on now. Now's the time. Let's go. they head back out into a nearby forest. The scenarios mimic growing threats overseas. The complexity we're seeing in the level of determination to get to, to us seems to have increased even more. For agents who pass the training, they're still the unknown. And it's always a fluid and dynamic environment. So it's important to be able to adjust to that. Whether it's keeping eyes on a protest or ensuring America's diplomats stay safe. Sagar Megani, Associated Press at a military base in Virginia.